Hello, my name is Juliet Mosiat, and I'm a support analyst and a part of the IBM Maximus software team. Today, I wanted to demonstrate how to delete or remove an instance of a scheduled report from Maximum application. And this applies to any Maximum application that contains reports, as this functionality is the same all across these types of applications. So let's sign in into Maximo and go to an application. My favorite one to demonstrate with would be work order tracking. Let's select one record to run the report against, just so it's quick. Let's go to the select action drop down menu, run reports, and it presents us with a list of reports, available reports in this application. And again, this is the work order tracking application. One of our most popular reports is the work order details report, and that's the one I'm going to use. Uh, once you click on it, it'll open a request page with the following scheduling options, which is immediate, at this time, and recurring. The one we wish to use is at this time, which will enable us to go ahead and schedule a report, one occurrence of this report at a particular time and a particular date. It is afternoon, so let's make sure to look at the PM portion of it. It is after 2 PM. So let's pick 2.30 p.m. on this date and click OK. If there is an issue with your scheduling, Maximo will show you a red X, meaning that you cannot continue, you cannot proceed uh, with this action and you have to correct your date. Most likely it's because you've scheduled it in the past and Maximo, of course, will not allow that because it has the logic to check for it. So just make sure to go back and uh, select a different time. As you can see, the to uh, field is required, and therefore we need to specify an email address. Let's leave everything else uh, as a default selection and submit the schedule of this report. As you can see, you receive successful uh, scheduling confirmation, and from here you can view to see a summary of what you just did, to see when it's going to execute, on which date, what type of uh, report you ran, and so on and so forth. And from here, you can go ahead and click delete. We can also do it from another spot, and that's what I wanted to demonstrate. And that is to go to schedules um, tab. Now, at times, it may not show up right away. You can refresh. So to go ahead and refresh, that would just basically close out of there and go back into the schedules menu, and the report appears. So to confirm, if let's say you have more than one report, it could be a report schedule with the exact same name and the same type of scheduling, and it might confuse uh, the users, which one do I choose, which one do I delete? And to make sure that you don't delete the wrong one, you always need to look at the uh, breakdown, the schedule, the summary. Since this is the one we used, and this is of course the only one on the list, we can go ahead and click that bin icon and note how it changes to undo uh, deletion. You can click on it again, and if you have one of those uh, whoops moments where you accidentally click on it and you do not wish to delete this particular report, you just click on it again, and uh, you will not lose your report. But the point of this demonstration is to delete the report, so to complete this action, <laughs> point of no return, is when we have to click OK. And at this point, report would disappear. The instance of the scheduled report would disappear uh, from our scheduling. So let's go back and verify without leaving this application. And as you can see, the report is now gone.